Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Bargain Bin, a show about speedrunning games all under $20. I'm your host, Midnight Vesper, and if you're new here, well, here's how this works. For more current slash digital games, we'll be using digital stores such as Steam, GOG, Itch.io, Ubisoft, Epic, etc. to look at the list slash MSRP price. For retro games, we'll be using a wide assortment of price charting websites, looking at the loose price of the game. We do not count any sales or discounts as they vary from time of purchase. A couple announcements before we get into our show tonight. Do not forget that Frame Fatales is GameZone Quick's all-women speedrunning community. Their upcoming event, Flame Fatales, will run from August 13th to the 20th of this year. The schedule will be released in July 6th. July 6th. Get on over to gamezonequick.com slash frame fatales for more information. And do not forget, if you missed any of our Summer Games Done Quick 2023 or any of our Juneteenth celebration that happened over the past over the weekend, be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash games done quick. And of course, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Twitch channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speed running content. And of course, also speaking of YouTube, if you're watching us on YouTube, be sure to press the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, head on over to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're interested in looking at our live content starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. For today's show, I have a special showcase for you. I heard over the weekend on Friday, we had this, uh, we had H2O Happy Dude here, and seems seemed like a... Uh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh, so I'll just go ahead. Uh, I, I brought H2O Happy Do back for a wide assortment of games. We got two speed, we got two fighting games coming up later on in the evening. But for now, I thought I had and go ahead and toss it over for the first run of the evening. By Binding of Isaac Rebirth. How are you doing, Happy Dude? Uh, I'm doing quite okay. The Chuckle Factory has taken the night off. So <laughs> I'm here to like have a calm peace of mind and run a couple of games that I've been playing on a semi casual slash speed running basis over the past couple of years. I want to say specifically going back to the binding of Isaac franchise. I've been playing since, Oh God, the original base game was released and, and I've got like 753 hours in, in the rebirth. So, uh, I'm totally not looking forward to this because this is the first actual uh, speed run that I've done for Isaac. So I normally do things fast, but I've never actually timed myself. So it's the first time for everything. Oh, yeah. All right. So we're going to go Isaac on normal because I am not looking for a hard time. All right. And three, two, one, and go. Now, you said before this started, you actually had a down patch? Yeah, so um, I had all of the DLC for uh, Rebirth, and uh, in order for me to meet the monetary requirements, I actually had to down patch, also known as uninstall DLC, in order to fit <laughs> under the $20 limit. Ow! Ooh. Let me see what the issue is. Yeah. So while we work on yeah. some, so while we work on some technical issues uh, involving all that, we'll be right back, y'all. Just stay tuned. Good time to get up, get some water. If you missed some water before the show happened, now's a good time to do so. I don't know what the. And welcome back to the bargain bin. Looks like our looks like our uh, tech issues have been resolved. H2O Happy Do, whenever you are ready, let's go ahead and start the run from the top once again. 
It's good because I hated the starting item anyway. In <laughs> three, two, one, go. All meticulously done, you know? Yeah, it's just done. <laughs> All right. So when we're starting, we're either looking at something that can give... Oh, I should not have rerolled that. Last reset. Um, but normally when... Uh, for those who are older, old like me, uh, and remember something called uh, the Boiler League, the Binding of Isaac Racing League back in the day, when they were running the base, um, like the very first Binding of Isaac game, that, that's where I actually learned about it in general was from Boiler. Um, uh, I don't know about this. Yeah, let's rock it. Um, they would be given uh, enough time to continuously reroll the starting room until, until they can get an item room. And I was kind of hoping to, you know, be in a situation where I can just start off with the item room in, like, from the get-go, but things broke. Now we're making up for lost time. Uh, there is a tinted rock down here. I'm gonna go grab this real quick. It can have uh, either red hearts, spirit hearts, or a rock for damage up. Out of those three, which one would you prefer for the run? Damage up. Does that vary for casual play? Uh, yeah, if you're looking to just survive, or as you pick up uh, either silver or black hearts, uh, which are temporary hearts, um, I'm, I'm trying to go for like a glass cannon run, but it, it's going to vary. Oh. It's definitely going to vary depending on how you want to play. There we go. All right, so each pill is an unidentifiable pill. However, when you get something called the PhD in, in a uh, store, uh, it automatically identifies every pill, plus every negative pill turns into a positive pill. So like balls of steel, health, uh, HP up. Uh, uh, the pills can also have you lose your uh, your uh, range and your speed and your max health too. Uh -oh. And it's it, this is going to apply to every other room or every other floor rather. But if you go completely, um, if you go the entire floor without taking any red heart damage, which oh, uh, I see where I'm okay, um, you get something called the double room where you can get way better items and I'm kind of looking for the devil room because it uh, gives some massive uh, overpowered items like uh, you collect three pieces of your dead cat and you turn into a cat yourself all turning guppy and if anyone asks why are there parts of a dead cat in your mom's basement I have no idea I could not accurately answer that question for you I hope no one would, would actually uh, ask that. No, oh, the lore. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, so the I see everything pill allows you to see uh, side rooms. All right, so I should not be picking that up now, but any uh, any uh, yeah, I think Lucky Rock actually gets me. Uh, more tinted rocks in new rooms. Um, but the white uh, half heart that I picked up, if I uh, leave the floor with it or pick up a second one, um, it will grant me another full heart. Think of it as the Tenet of Life from uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple for all you old geezers like me. Um, I mean, we have to find the shrine of the silver monkey in this game. In, 
You know, if there's not a... Oh, that was good. Um, what good items, game? Ooh, 48 hour energy. It gives you a free reroll plus two batteries. Oh, yes. There we go. And then this gives me shot speed plus damage up and we're gone. So considering that, you know, like Binding of Isaac and there are a lot like there's, a you know, that that roguelike game feel where you go in every time you do it, you get different items, a very random type situation. How does that equate to a speed run? Is it just a you kind of have to go with the wind or do you know like this works over here versus this and stuff like that? There is a lot of resets that happen during runs to where you will like it depends on how how much uh, of a piece of crap your first starting room is like it, it makes a bunch of difference uh, just based off the items on the first floor so there's there's a lot of resets um, like if you get a uh, uh, a way to teleport into a devil deal on the first floor that would be like the best case scenario but those are very far and few in between um, like I think I've maybe done that in like less than one percent of all my runs Um, yeah, it's like you, you get like Tech 2 or something that like has high uh, DPS attached to it or just gives you just overall strength up. Ah. I, I was effectively a melting. Oh, and the uh, blue spiders that are uh, that are in play, those are mine. Um, I think it was the sack of eggs, I want to say, that I picked up. You actually have a chance of spawning one on enemy kill. And I think spiders deal either 2x or 3x your, your, your current damage. So, like, like when I was saying about guppy earlier, when you collect the guppy pieces, you spawn flies who... who They'll fly around and attack the nearest uh, enemy. Those do uh, 3x. But like, if you have like Tech 2 where it's like infinite range, or uh, like, like if you have uh, Fetus in a Jar uh, with the rockets, like th those deal. Stop it. Those deal a lot of damage. To the point where like you really don't need it. I normally go for Guppy, like the worst case scenario. Like if I feel like uh, going, for, like if I see if I come across a, uh, nine lives in a devil room, I might go for it then because when uh, you collect nine lives, uh, all your red hearts disappear and leave you with one, no matter how many you have. You can have up to twelve hearts. And as soon as you pick up uh, nine lives, your run better be like the best it could be. All right, so we have tarot cards. We have, oh, I'm gonna, oh, I don't have a bomb. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Bouncing important. Wait, I... Also, chat's all about Guppy. All right, I'm gonna go for it. All right, so I spent five, got three, net loss of two. Uh, oh. All right, so I need to come back and get that map. Also, map, uh, like, uh, map reveals are the end-all, be-all. There's two ways you can get it, either by the uh, map in the item room, or there's a tarot card that you can get that reveals it. I think it's the sun. Oh, I need to stop popping pills. I could be forever again. It gives me access to uh, secret rooms again. Ah, uh, let's go down. Ouija board gives me uh, spectral tears, which can pass through rocks. Yeah, let's go. 
I don't think that they'll actually be you know, worth anything this run. So do you need a specific amount of items? Like, I know, like, in a randomizer, you have to go, you have to get certain items to get into go mode to go to the end. Or is this a completely random, you get what you get, you but you no matter what, you can get to the end of the game? Uh, 90% of uh, Isaac runs are, uh, like, I think it's skill. The other 10% is just sheer luck with the items. Like, uh, there, there's an item that uh, automatically caps out your sh your shot rate, or uh, give me the white one. No, oh, wait, that's puberty. Ah, okay. Oh, I did realize I had enough uh, enough coins for the. Uh, ow! Stop that it. looked like it hurt. Yeah. Like items like uh, brimstone can also give you that effect. I gotta play this super freaking safe. You're close. I believe. There we nice. Go. So this gives me damage up. I uh, thought it gave me. Oh, that gave me hearts too. I'm gonna go back and get that map so I can save a lot of time in the back end. If I would have paid attention to uh, paid attention earlier, I gotten it while I was. So are only items randomized or is it going to be more along the lines of enemies, bosses, locations on fields, everything else? Repeat that again, I'm sorry. Are only weapons somewhat, or I'm sorry, not weapons, abilities. Are only abilities randomized or do you, are the maps randomized, are the bosses randomized, enemies randomized, etc.? So, um... Everything is everything that can be randomized is randomized. The abilities that each character has, like I think there's like nine different characters, something like that, and each individual character has its own ability. Um, like Isaac, for example, you can reroll any any item that is on a pedestal. So your devil deals, your uh, item rooms, your uh, uh, Little item room and shops. I'm gonna pop this pew pill just to get it on. Yo! Hearts would be nice. Thank you. You're paying <laughs> attention to me, game. Thank you. Um, as of right now, what I'm really looking for is the uh, the bum. Um, he can turn. Cash in that is on the floor into hearts. Oh, uh, screw you, game. No, oh, no. So, for how I said, I wasn't sure on whether or not the spectral tears would come into play. Thank you, game. Right. Hey, look, a heart. Another heart. Yeah. It could be anything, even a boat. <laughs> I appreciate the fact that you're attacking uh, Candy there. I thought I was attacking emojis this entire time. They look yeah, like they look like Candy from a from a from a company. I'm not following. <laughs> Chat will help in inform. I hope. Hope I alluded to that. All right. 
Double Ratchet. Oh god, these XL runes are going to be the bane of my existence. All right, so whenever whenever a boss room is an XL room like this, it will have double the bosses. That does not sound like a fun time. Do they share the same HP? Yes, they do. They essentially do share the same bar, but uh, you're not 100 percent sure on exactly where the damage is between the two of them. Hmm. Because they share, even though they share the one life bar, uh, each each boss has separate health. For bandage. Okay, so I not get a. Uh, yeah. So, what's the difference between the blue hearts and the red hearts? I assume red is health. Blue maybe what end up getting energy or. So the red hearts are exactly what you think they are. To think of it as the hearts from the red hearts from Legend of Zelda. Uh, the silver hearts are temporary uh, temporary hearts. They're also known as spirit hearts in this game. Uh, when like uh, uh, words, if you were to take damage and lose a heart, there's no way of getting it back. Um, there's black sin hearts, which. Uh, Upon depletion, they actually cause damage equal to a certain percentage of your max damage you can deal. Ooh. I wonder if this is the right one. Hang on. Nope, that's not the right one. Oh, no. So, uh, you, you have, I think, four different stats in the game. Range, damage, speed, and... Thanks, you. Something else. Can't recall off the top of my head. But, uh, yeah. It just basically took. Oh, and also damage. What? Damage. The. Why could I not brain the day? Um. All right, I feel that. It was all the puns from Friday. Yeah. <laughs> it was all the puns from Friday. Still in recovery um, mode. But it took. It feels like it took some of my damage and shoved him somewhere else. Where? Be down. No, I'm not taking that. Oh, that was a bigger thing. Back there. Take it you didn't need to get the key from earlier. Never be too sure. There are certain curses in this game that actually prevent you from gaining uh, certain items in the uh, consumable items. So like I can get royally screwed. Oh. Okay. So depending on the item after the boss fight, I might have to get that depending on how far. I don't want to do a full clear, but damn it, it looks like I'm going to have to. Uh, oh, oh, three of you? I should not have risked it for the biscuit. But to get, we have to get rid of every enemy in here as well, like in every room. Yeah. So the requirement for you leaving is one of two ways. You can either clear out the room like I just did, or you can bomb through a door. But if you bomb through a door, it is not counted as cleared. Where if you go back in there and you don't have any bombs, you're going to have to clear out the room anyway. Uh, the two... Two types of rooms that you cannot bomb into or out of are rooms with uh, item rooms or the boss fight. And there's a cute way that you can... Uh, the that cheat the game but you can actually tell how f how fast you're going uh if you defeat mom's foot 
in an under 20 minutes, a room opens up to where you can fight almost every single boss in the game for another item. Oh, wow. But it's a little bit easier if you have like something to where you need to die for it to trigger, like, uh, like for example, nine lives or, um, or like uh, the onk. Come on. Almost there. Almost. Oh, like one HP. Yeah, that was like one HP left. Oh, there's the bum. All right, I can't, I can't risk it. <laughs> so, uh, the win condition is beating um, Isaac in the cathedral. Uh, so, from here on out, uh, well, before now, uh, every single hit that I took uh, dealt half heart. And everything now deals full heart. By picking up the, uh, the Polaroid, if I was to go down to a half health, uh, half heart, uh, there'll be a temporary shield for about six seconds. And it's also very situational to where. Very situation to where like that Polaroid can go can essentially go infinite. Fuck up. Okay. Nice. Luck's turning around, I guess. Ah. That's. I don't need anyone else here to do puns for me. Yeah, see? You know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, excuse me. Wah! <laughs> but it's fun to have other, you know, it's fun to have them around. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> With friends like that, however. <laughs> oh, that is a half heart. Hey, it helps. This? Come on over. Come on over. Ah, crap. Looks like those hands earlier weren't necessarily helping, though. Nope. Ah, get away from me! Get away, 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 get away. Oh, come oh. on, game. I believe. I believe. <laughs> nice dodge. I am clinched so hard. I believe you're almost there. You almost there. You go. Nice. Oh yeah. Very nice. Hey, this is going to be rough because I have not gotten a single devil deal. Uh, there is a devil deal item that I can pick up to guarantee devil deals. Oh come on! I was hitting that. Come on. Stick your head out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Here. Was that a Pokemon? I guess. Maybe. Was it Shuckle? I think is the one that looked like. You know. I'm not going to say you're right. And I'm not going to say <laughs> you're wrong. <laughs> Okay, we have Pokemon later on in the schedule of memories, as we correct, so I'll find out then. Yeah. Uh, I saw Scarlet and Violet, I think. Yeah, on Tiny Tree Fort. Hmm. 
Look at the way everything back to Pokemon. Like, they're, you know, they're, they look like Diglets. Dig, 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 trio, trio, trio. Um. <laughs> Give me a good item, please. Well, it was a key. I got a skeleton key right there. Oh, yeah. But, ah, that's not too bad. Just trying to get pain in the butt. Hey. Oh. Yeah, I'll take that. My cousin has blub blub. Look at more hearts. Now, this with shielded tears would be like 100% helpful at this point. <laughs> On the boss room. Hey. Is something like Binding of Isaac something that, you know, the speedrunner can maybe do one or two casual things and then immediately get in? Or is it one of those, like, it ha you have to constantly practice for all the variances that come within uh, Binding of Isaac? Uh, I would say actually practice. Oh, hold on. Do this entire thing without getting hit. I've never felt so serious in my life. <laughs> I'm not talking because of how serious this is. Oh, oh yeah, there we nice. Go. I'm gonna check over here. Very, very, very nice. All right, I did say this was a cathedral run, so guess where we're going? Two thirds of the way there. Nice. Chad is hype about that now. That, that about that boss fight. Thanks, Chad. I think the concentration is just very much determined for these type of runs. Mm -hmm. Like if someone was to knock on my door, this run would be screwed. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to go up. It tells me up. I kind of wish it wasn't. <laughs> oh, no. Give me a spirit heart. Anything. I'm going to give you something. I think give me a heart. Hey, it's easy. It's something. I wasn't spe specific on how many. Hey, I gave you something, though. I mean, something's better than nothing.
Oh, I take that back. There's actually one more floor above the cathedral. He's down. You? If I beat Isaac, then I gotta go to the chest for one last major boss. Oh, okay. There we go. Hey, nice. Another heart. Hey, look. Pitted rock. Nice. You know, my gut told me up, but I'm starting to wish I paid attention. <laughs> Last place I actually want to go is in that big room off to the right. Oh, I wow. immediately in that. So we're in boss rush territory now? Uh, Sort of. Okay. Because it's... It, it, if I was to beat Isaac here, the cathedral, then I got one more, one more essentially boss for us to take care of. But the chest, almost every single room has a new uh, item. And since I actually kept my starting item throughout the course of the run. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Y'all saw me finish. Oh, that, yeah, I right? saw you. Yeah, it was it was finished. Game. <laughs> it felt like the game That's pushed so you out. Either. Look at the game pushed you out just at the right moment to get you to come right back. And like, no, no, we're not done yet. No matter what, you're handling all of this, you know, amazingly especially the last boss where you you know you are down to so much and just did a phenomenal job thank you thank you screw you <laughs> it does not help that my damage is not where I want it to be Fear shots, I guess. So if if any if any of the uh, enemies gets hit with a uh, different colored shot from the normal ones, it'll be like a bright yellow. Uh, you'll actually fear your fear, fear the enemy to not uh, come anywhere near you. Kind of what I'm hoping. Yeah, we got a bomb, though. That may help a little bit. Little. Oh, do I risk Thank you. Do I, need to go? I need to go to that big room I never wanted to go into. Just watch. <laughs> I'm going to go down here and hopefully hope, hope and pray that the boss is down here. I mean, you went to every other direction, right? Yeah, except that big room I don't want to go into. Yeah. Ooh, okay, so whenever I pick up any cash, it'll also uh, spawn a red heart. Oh, nice. So. so there's a website called uh, platinumgod.co. Oh, no.
Uh. Oh no. Well. Yeah, I, ju I just saw the timer that it said 35 upon death. Did we just kill it? Yeah, you got other runs. That's. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. All right. Well, don't worry though. I was doing, You're doing so, so well. So well. Oh, and chat is just oh. And the, yeah. And I see chat going yeah. off. Yeah. Oh, that's all right though. It's all right though. We can have a redemption. You know why? Because that's this isn't the only run you have. You have a couple more runs coming up, so we can go and have that redemption. We can go. We can get some stuff taken care of. But while we get set up for the next run that ha that uh, H2O Happy Dude's going to do, this is a great time to get up, stretch, get some water, do all that fun stuff. While we get things set up for our next run, stay tuned. Hello and welcome back to the Bargain Bin here on Gamestone Quick Hot Fix. Before we get into our next run, do not forget a couple small announcements. Frame for Towns is games done, games done quick, all women online speedrunning community. The upcoming event, Flame for Towels, will be through August 13th through the 20th. The schedule will be, will be released on July 6th as well. Head on over to gamesdonequick.com slash frame for towels for, all, for more information. And of course, if you've missed out on Summer Games Done Quick 2023 or our Juneteenth celebration, be sure to check out the VODs on youtube.com slash gamesdonequick. And while you're there, do not forget to press the like button on the video and subscribe to the channel. Also, head to twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick if you're watching us on YouTube. Hello, YouTube, by the way. If you're interested in looking at our live content, starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, finally, your subs, Prime Gaming subs, gift subs, and bits cheered on the GDQ Hotfix channel help support Games Done Quick Hotfix. Please consider subscribing if you enjoy the daily speed running content. And now... Well, we did have a little bit of a scuffle at the end of uh, the binging of Isaac, as apparently the, the uh, channel or the, the layout said for a second there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to toss it back to H2O Happy Dude for the redemption with Killer Instinct. Howard, welcome back. <laughs> hello. Once again, hello, everybody. Uh, so my very first appearance on Hotfix actually had me playing the Game Boy port of the original Killer Instinct. Who knew eight months later, I would actually be able to stream my favorite version of KI. It is free to play with a limited roster on Xbox One and Windows 10. You also have the full roster available for download. When I got it on Steam, it was 20 bucks. Who knows if it's there now, but um, we're going to be going through the entire Season 1 roster because uh, Mick Gordon did the soundtrack for Season 1 and Mick Gordon is the best composer uh, for video games in the world. Don't ask <laughs> me. Anyway, uh, we're going to be going almost in order. Um, we're going to start off with Orchid and then go uh, Spinal, then Bulgore, and then wrap around the top. Uh, when it comes to when it comes to KI 2013, my main is not in season one. It's Maya in season two. However, my heart is with this roster. All right, we are going to uh, start time on on costume select, and we are going the uh, retro custom with. Hold on. Let's go with the default. And then give her awkwardly green skin. Oh, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Sorry. It happens. It happens. Gotcha. All right. So as this is, I guess, the title of the same arcade slash... Uh, SNES or Genesis. Is this just, just a reboot or is it a remake? Is it something else? Is it a sequel? Prequel? It is a complete reboot to my knowledge. Um, 
because they... Oh, oh come on. Counterbreaker. There's new mechanics in it, like the KV meter on the right-hand side. When it gets full, you your opponent uh, essentially like has a blowout. Um, you need to uh, go through the classic uh, opener. Uh... Oh god, I can't talk. Um, the classic combo string is still available from the original KI. So you need to go opener into uh, combo into an ender. Uh, the leaderboard actually says for you not to use combo assist, but for the sake of this exercise, uh, we are using combo assist. So this is more of a uh, personal thing than a uh, like guaranteed leaderboard decision kind of thing. Uh, let's see if I can't ultra this first. Oh, come on. Nice, nope. though. There we go. I'll let this ultra rock. Beautiful. Also, someone in chat said combo breaker, chef. One step closer to finishing out ultra tech. <laughs> oh, I see you, chat. <laughs> With, with, with all this hype for KI, this should have been the last run, to be honest. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Hey, we still, have, we, do, we still have more hype coming up, though. Oh, and since, since our last appearance with Killer Instinct, I actually obtained the world record for the Game Boy port. Uh, they restructured the leaderboards, and they were like, yeah, you can... Like, you don't have to play it on very, on a very hard mode anymore. And while everyone else left their runs not improved, I just basically scooped up two world records, one for the overall speed and then speed per character, which nice. was Glacius. Congrats. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A shout out to uh, Mega Sparks, who did this track with uh, Mick Gordon. Uh, um, counter, super, super into Ender, 51%. In practice earlier, I had like a lockout into two supers, uh, into instinct, into, uh, it was seventy one percent. So, like it was, it was bonkers. So since you're fighting TJ combo here, yeah. and you know you're doing a pretty good job, I'd say, of um, kicking TJ's you know rear end. Uh, would you, in fact, say that at this particular point you are doing what is known as a combo breaker? Since I assume eventually you may be breaking combo's bones. <laughs> had enough puns Friday. <laughs> I love you, Vesper, but... To get, I had to have at least one. I told you I'd throw... I, I, you know, I'd lay low, but I had to get at least one in. What was it like... What, what was it that I, I said about you at GDQ? You're, you're the age of a millennial, but your jokes are one of a Zoomer? I think, yeah, something like that. Yeah, the face of... Yeah, something, something like that. Something like that. <laughs> yeah, it's just all about it. <laughs> crickets. Oh my god. Is that She-Hulk? So the skins actually came came about when um there's actually three different color palettes that you can actually use. Uh the purple ones you get for oh well, oh. um, there's a like a little mini story mode where you 
have a three person team and you like uh have to prevent the uh like world domination of Gargos or something like that. So when you hit a certain point in that Ah uh, come on. Could not be blown out. Fine, right, I'll just grab. Uh the green skins, I uh those are also in the uh Gargos mode, and then there's gold ones depending on uh you it's DLC for cosmetics. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on! Give me that counter breaker. There. Maybe we'll get another game where, the, where they add another character called Counter. So we could have a combo breaker and a counter breaker. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Asper. <laughs> Ultra tech. Supreme victory. And unfortunately, that development ceased on on this version of KI uh, in uh, what, not Twin Galaxies. Uh, the the devs got bought up by Amazon, and so it ceased to exist. However, there are season one characters with humiliations. Uh, not humiliations, ultimates, which is essentially the the same thing as an ultra, but it's highly cinema, uh, cinematic. I want to try to avoid those, but if they happen, they happen. I know uh, Saber Wolf has one. All these loading screens, brutal. <laughs> brutal. Okay, so this I, is this a new character into this? Or... Yes, Hasako. Yeah, Hasako and uh, they actually uh, in season 2.5 put in uh, Ben Hasako, which is the human version of Fuck. How many other new characters are, have been in this version of uh, I was about to say Kingdom Hearts. Killer Instinct. Wow. Wow. We cannot be <laughs> friends. Uh, there's Shadira. There's uh, Arya. Um, that's all I can think of off the top of my head. Um, Kilgore. Well, Kilgore was in the original, the arcade. Full no, gore. that was full okay. gore. So Kilgore was actually brought in because, uh, like, according to the original storyline, when Full Gore uh, uh, beat. Ultra Tech in the in the first one, he, he essentially became free. In the reboot, uh, Ultra Tech is like, okay, we have Full Gore, but we're gonna turn, we're gonna create something that's like the ultimate killing machine, just in case. And then that's where Kill Gore comes. So they're not related. Wow. Not by blood, no. Is there cyborgs? Ah. <laughs> Denor, my favorite KI fighter. <laughs> I can see that. I like how someone in chat said, I like how someone in chat said, this is basically Kingdom Hearts. Is this a remake of the original Arcade Killer Instinct? As I call it, uh, this is a complete reboot to my knowledge. Uh, kind of like how Killer Instinct, no, not Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat 9 was a complete reboot on the franchise. And to me, Mortal Kombat 1 was made in 93, not 2023. This is in what, what was announced earlier was uh, MK12. <laughs> <laughs> in the grand scheme of everything, is this a Hades clone? The answer would be maybe. Maybe. Come on, Conra. Oh, Conra is also a uh, season two character that. Uh, actually, I think he's, I think Conra is season one. How many seasons were there Come in on. this version of uh, Killer Instinct? Officially, there was two, but they, Kilgore was released in a 
uh, 2.5 patch right before season three was initially planned, and they never got season three off the ground. Come on. Can I? Can I just? There we go. Come. Ah, why did I go for another? Very nice to do out at all, though. It seems like. Oh, God. Oh. What? No, no Conrad. You, you need to die. You need to die. Not yet. Oh, wait. There. Mortal Kombat 1.325 Ultra Remix Bubble Pop Plus. <laughs> yes, that's what it sounds like. I'm okay with that title. I feel like they're destroying the class. Okay, I have to point this out. I feel like they're destroying the classics. As long as there are people that enjoy the original games, that is all that matters. I play the most wor I played the worst version of Killer Instinct. Got a world record out of it, and I still play it to this day. It's not necessarily killing the classics. It's making people aware of the classic. That's where I stand. I like that. I Harry like Sotis. That. Slow down, bro. I, no. <laughs> no. We're on hot fix. Oh, okay. So this, when I first started playing, um, I would rage, I would rage quit against Sidira players online because I am such an arachnophobe. This map looks a little something else, though. Yeah. Oh, come on. Oh. There we go. For some reason, um, the the counter breakers work like if you if you like do it in the first 10 hits uh, on easy mode, they have the tendency to uh, try to break. And they go in, like when they fail, when a character fails a break, they have this thing called the lockout, which prevents them from uh, breaking again for, I think, either five seconds or until the combos drop. There we go. Nice combo on that one. I want to show off the 71 that I got earlier, but. So I noticed when enemies attack or, or when you all attack each other, there's that little flashing white tier where the health is. Is that just an indication of where the health is going mm -hmm. to, to the end? Or is it more along the lines of like extra damage you're doing on top of what you'd be doing. If that makes any sense. Okay. So there's a certain percentage of the damage that you deal that, that turns the health bar into what is called white life. And what white life is, is that it's the potential extra damage that you get when you perform an ender of a combo. Whether it be a super or a grab or whatever. Um, the, like, if you fail to cash out on that extra damage, like... Like, let's say if a combo goes too long and you blow out your opponent. That white life stays there. So if you do the combo again, if you do another combo and then cash out, that's the additional damage from the first one plus any additional damage that you get for cashing out on the current combo. See, there's the person I was talking about earlier. It's Fulgar. So the question is with the maps as well, like, do you, are you able to expand on the maps like you could in the original uh, arcade version of KI? Uh, no, this is what you see is what you get. Ready, 
Come on, fucker. Bulgor just backed into the corner on on their own. There we go. There we go. Nice. 65%. Nice. There we go. He he locked he locked yeah. himself out. I burned a meter to continuously have him uh pick away out of uh, try to get out of uh uh lockout to where I can do the uh, uh, counter breaker and then proceed to do additional damage. The meter on the left hand side is also no is the, known as a KV meter. Alright, so uh, Orchid down. Um, it resets when two things happen. Either you counter break or you use your instinct. And that is the yellow meter that fills up underneath the uh, um, health bar. Unfortunately, I have yeah. not found a faster way to get done with the credits. <laughs> That's how I just smash and plus. Or, not plus. I've been playing Switch way too much. It happens. I'm playing a game. I'll, I'll, especially switching from my like PlayStation to Xbox controllers. Like I'll be, I'll be playing, you know, like I played the, what, Final Fantasy 16 demo on my PS5, and I went to my Xbox and played another game, and I kept on messing up the controls, because I'm like, this is supposed to be here. Mm hmm Yes, this is the 10-year anniversary of Killer Instinct for the Xbox One, and I have loved it for the past 10 years. I used to go to Best Buy with my brother solely just to play this on the demo kiosk. Not to buy anything. My brother did all the shopping back then, so. It's amazing how many good games you look at and you're like, man, I can't believe this is already, you know, at this point, so, you know, at this point, 10 years. All right. Like when you take a look at Minecraft, yeah. to see how old that is. Come on. You know, I'm thoroughly disappointed in the idea that ESAM got dive kick onto a GDQ main stage. <laughs> like, to this day, that just burns me so much. Spinal looks so much different in this version than I than I initially thought, but it looks so much almost better, I think. Ah, oh, I could have went for a counter breaker. Nice. Shouldn't be a stage ultra. I just noticed something. During his jump animation, his ribs start to separate from the rest of his body. Huh. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, I never noticed that. I once played a virtual boy on a demo wow. at Suncoast Video. Uh, Lemon, would I be also correct in assumption that uh, you didn't wear glasses before then? <laughs> Ultra combo chef. <laughs> Pokemon Snap Camera Stations. So someone found and purchased a uh, the um, gold and silver kiosk from the Pokemon Center in New from New York and I saw it on TikTok and I'm like I will pay you $50 if you would kindly use my uh, or put like the for the uh, shiny Celebi on to my uh, uh, oh come on Sadira being meanie heads oh wow could be in a butthole 
being a complete meanie head right now. And that's the life bar. Nice. Right? Wow. <laughs> For sure, boy, screwing up eyesight since 95. <laughs> yep. I swear that should be a cross up. There we go. I think people are in chat saying that they had a Virtual Boy demonstration at a Coles. I don't remember if I ever actually had one where I live. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh come on. That was rude. You got this. See? I did some unnecessary flashy crap. Hey, but you know what? That was all right. That. It's okay to do some unnecessary stuff to get there, you know? I see people in chat saying that they had a... I thought it was so cool to have the Pokemon Snap stickers. I still have some of mine. I know this has nothing to do with Pokemon, but yes. My old... My old CRT that I had back in middle school still has the uh, Pokemon Snap stickers that I put on them. But do not forget, speaking of Pokemon, that we do have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet later on on Tiny Tree Fort. So... Nice segue. <laughs> Oh! Oh, for f ah! There we go. So I have to ask: Do I? Would you think that Thunder would like the Imagine Dragons? I don't know why, but I feel like possibly. Vesper, your your jokes are making me <laughs> drop combos here, bro. <laughs> It's an extra challenge. I had that extra <laughs> challenge on Friday. <laughs> oh, that was a complex challenge. That was oh, a complex what challenge. I... Ooh. Good recovery, though. Real good recovery. Yep. Nice. Bro for the kill. Let's go. Didn't Friday end up with a PB, a pun best, <laughs> I guess? Look. <laughs> Look. Don't maybe go into mod <laughs> mode right now. I love y'all, but... I'm gonna Jesus. Start using whenever I have you on my show and stuff like that, where they're... We're gonna figure out what the what your what the uh, pun is and see if we can do the the PB but, of your puns. That's great. I love it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> I, this this is my favorite track of the entire se the entire game. And when Mick Gordon can make Mongolian throat singing metal, that just there, says there a lot. There are a couple um, of throat singers who actually do that. I think some of them are in the the Who, H U. I think they do some of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh! Ouch! 
launch. Come on, be nice. There we go. I like that someone in chat said, it may be an instinct, but I think this track is killer. All right, all right. I, yeah. I, I can accept that. <laughs> By the way, did I pronounce the name of that band correctly? I've always wondered. Because every time, yeah, because mm -hmm. every time I hear yeah. it, I always think the who, not the who. And I'm like, did right. I pronounce it? Yeah, yeah. H U. And not W H O, the 60s and 70s rock band. To be frank, Mick Gordon can make anything sound metal. Like the entire Doom Eternal soundtrack. And he allegedly never got mm. made what he's worth for. And I say allegedly because I'm still <laughs> not sure how that went down. I really appreciate the illusion. It's like, the who? Guess who? The band? Touche. Touche for knowing a good good collection of uh, classic rock bands there. Something tells me, though, we were starting to set up for a who's on first situation. But who is on first? <laughs> Don't go there. It's, it's the it, who's on first. <laughs> Yeah, can you double check for me to see if there's a band called the what? I'm sure there is. I have to wonder. Oh. Come on. I love my dive kicks. Is it just me, or does Orchard and that, and that look like Wonder Woman? Since we had someone else asking about She-Hulk, that kind of looks like Wonder Woman to me, so... Yeah. I don't know why I went all through there. <laughs> Chad is all of... Chad is all about this bit. <laughs> I'm so happy about this. I am glad to bring the <laughs> entertainment. <laughs> I don't know. Over the past... Like, since Friday, my brain is like... Do I have any runs left? <laughs> I, I literally had to pull this one out of thin air to be like, crap, what game have I played that's essentially you know, under 20 bucks? It works. I mean, hey, hey, it works. You, yeah. You're still doing a phenomenal job. And again, it shows the variety of your speed run. I mean, you went from this to Binding of Isaac. Then you did what, Mario Party earlier? Oh, come on. It just shows you the ma the vast portfolio of speedruns that you have. Oh, come on. There. Zebra Wolf looks real. I, I, I haven't, I haven't seen Zebra Wolf yet. Good, good aesthetics. If we have any um, subscribers to Maximilian Deuce channel, can we throw up some biddies in chat? Oh, also, um, actual question: like when you go off and do these modes, is the character selection RNG, or do you always know the character that's coming up next? It is random. It's okay. random. Well, it's random up until the point of, like, when I go to the next match, you'll see who's next. Yeah. 
But that's as far as it goes. It looks like Warwick from League. <laughs> no. Hmm. There we go. So when Maximilian was covering uh, like the different skins and whatnot for uh, AI, it was an oddly familiar skin on Saberwolf where it looked an awful, awful, awful lot Benny his uh, pet Pomeranian. That reminds me, we didn't pet Saberwolf. I know it's a wolf. No, you can't pet the dog. Well, it's not a dog, it's a wolf, but... We can still pet well, it. Technically. We can still pet Saber Wolf. Technically. I find it. Find it. You gonna make things difficult? Oh, now you're taking throws. All right. <laughs> can we pet Bulgore? I would I'd be strongly advised against it. <laughs> you're out of 10 game no doggo petting <laughs> what about full, what about full gore petting uh, mm, I don't know about that one can you at least I should have went into ultra there we go Nice. Yeah, we're on character two and it's like 30 minutes. I was severely underestimated. You're fine. Okay, fine. Most like you can land any aircraft on water once. <laughs> Fight on. How many other characters do we have? Just one more? No. We're on character three of six? Oh, okay. We're doing the entire season. All right, so that's one, two. We got six. It's we're on character three of eight now. Welcome. Mistakes were definitely made. Um, <laughs> it's all right. In my defense, when we were getting this thing together, I just woke up from a nap. So you can do it. Yeah. Uh, Forty-five. Yeah, yeah. And also, the, uh, the leaderboards for KI goes by IGT. So, like, you see top 10 times being like eight and a half, nine minutes. Oh, come on. Oh. We open up with Saber Wolf. Oh, 
He can do that? Do what? A little chest. Oh, that's that's. Oh yeah. That's it nice. depends on it depends on what skin he has on, but if you look close enough, you can actually see either the Ultratech logo or the original Xbox logo inside of his chest piece. Oh wow. That's interesting. Oh yeah, we forgot to see if we could pet the Saber Wolf doggo. What about Saber Wolf? We forgot to check to see if we could pet it. <laughs> Let me tell you, petting anything that can quite possibly kill you is not in the cards. Yeah. You do this fast. Got this. As soon as I say that, he's turtling like hell. <laughs> That's what happens. Games can hear you. You know? Like some Iron Man right there. Perfect. Yeah, Iron Man with the less. Go ahead. Like Iron Man with the face of uh, the villain of Toy Story. Oh, what was his name? Buzz Le Zerg. Zerg. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Wow, that unlocked a core memory <laughs> I, I never thought I had. <laughs> I like how this person here is Cinder. I wonder I wonder if he has like a cousin that's named Cooler. That's Glacius. Oh, that's Glacius? Oh. Uh... Yeah. Well, not technically his brother, but... Well, I said, I said cousin. Oh. Maybe a second cousin that's named, um, you know, Cooler. Maybe related to someone named Freezer. You and those Dragon Ball jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just, you know, it's right there. Oh, someone said, yeah, Emperor Zerg. Zerg was in Toy Story 2. Still, the face mask still matches. I could have sw sworn that Zerg was in Toy Story 1. Hmm. Chat got immediately. Someone in chat said this the, this joke is making me chilled. That full wow. screen really looks like Mentioned. Iron Man Mark One. Yeah. Mentioned. Okay. Okay, so yeah, Zerg was just mentioned, but never really shown until Toy Story 2. I got what's happening now. We're all there. Hanra. You know, seeing Qualifier underneath my name badge, I really do need to get back into ranked. 
You could do it. You've been doing it a lot with uh, Pokemon. Um, oh no. What is that Pokemon game? Oh, oh well. It'll come to me like as soon as the stream ends. Ah, crap. You know, this, this, this Connor does not, does not look like the con that I'm familiar with. So I'm really interested in when, you know, Spock is going to show up and talk to Khan. How you doing, chat? <laughs> Yeah, someone in there. Pokemon Unite. Thank you. Thank you, Railcoon. Oh, yes. Yes. I just can't remember. But I know you've been playing a lot of Pokemon Unite and you got ranked again, correct? Or did you... I hit Master last season. Yeah. And then uh, Reset happened during GDQ and then I was like, hey, Rue... We need to get we need to get on this season, and then life got in the way. So as it happens, yeah. I didn't realize how busy they would they would actually be at <laughs> at the event. All of a sudden, it's like, yeah, I'm looking forward to calling uh calling shots with you, uh, playing Pokemon Unite. And then they were like, hey, I have enough time to go grab dinner. Come with me. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. We never had dinner. No. We had we had we had we had breakfast, kind of, at Summer Games. Brunch? Yeah, you can call it brunch. Yeah. When we were all chilling outside? Yeah, yeah. For a place in the north, I never expected to be like 80 degrees outside. <laughs> I, I I hated every moment I was outside. I I worked on my pasty white skin for going on thirty eight years. I I hmm. so I'm trying to figure out if, with the name being Riptor. I'm trying to figure out if if it came you know, or with, with with I guess the name Riptor being more associated with blue or Reptar. Huh. <laughs> They're all dinosaurs. It's a, it was, it was a, it was a attempt at a dinosaur pun. Just let it, just, just let it move. Uh, okay, just, just let I'll, it I'll live let it in the ether. Oh, why? There we go. I have all that white life just sitting there. There we go. Hey, look, you pet, you pet Riptor there. Nice job. You, you, you petted so much it had to take a nap. All of a sudden, I'm picturing Rugrats in my head. Yeah, well, that's why I said Reptar. That, that's probably why. <laughs> also, I truly appreciate both that Fulgore kind of has a like a reverse mohawk or something in the back there. Or I guess a ponytail would be the better way of putting it. Just ponytail outside. Being, ah. being this massive machine ponytail. Oh, and also a little little thing for those who do the actual run. Uh, always break on heavies. Um, they seem to. God, why am I? I'm actually wanting to show off. 
the instinct gauge, but I can't unless Orchid hits me. Oh, for... Ah. You got this. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. Nice. I'm afraid, I, I'm, I feel like you can't do that in the actual battle, or is that an actual move that you can do in the actual... What, uh, laser beams? Yeah. That is uh, a super that you can do. Uh, it's just the wind-up animation actually not that fast. Oh, okay. Um, so it just looked too... Oh! Like, you might actually be able to see it when it's full gore versus full gore. Cyborg versus cyborg. We will come out on top. I feel like it's going to be the cyborg. Maybe full gore. Just maybe. These are always these are always the fun matches because you get to see how much you actually are in, in terms of uh, going against the CPU with the same abilities and same skill set and everything. I have a question for chat. It's a trivia question. I want to see who's actually uh, old like me. What was the very first fighting game to offer mirror matches? I was going to say the answer is 42, but I actually don't know the answer to that one. The answer still could technically be 42, though. Technically, yeah. Yeah. But locking yourself out. Maybe they don't want to know. Maybe they don't want to answer. Or maybe they really want to know the answer. So they're just intentionally moving away. So they can actually wait for chat. Druff Wolf got it. Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition for the arcade. Nice. I remember the big old blue having this big giant Victory. paper thing on the top that says uh, now offering mirror matches and it had a picture of Ken versus Ken. <laughs> nice. That was like 90... 3, 94. All right, fuck her down. Nice. I think it was one of the first two Street Fighter 2 flavors. Yeah. Can we talk about the, the, the decade that was Capcom screwing everything up so others can walk? What? So, oh. uh, Capcom oh, I released like yeah. five different versions of Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. Wrong menu, wrong menu. Story, season one. All right, that brings us to the top of the list. There we go. Nice. Uh, is it on this? Yeah. So, on this particular uh, skin, I've replaced the sword with a keytar. Hold on, seriously? Let's paint on the keytar. Do we get to play with the keytar? Unfortunately not. Oh, that's no fun. It's, it's, basically, it's basically a skin for the sword. Hmm. And his hands look like they're... Ultron heads. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not expecting Arya to look like that, though. So Arya is a weird one. She was introduced in season two and she's the first one to have three life bars. So effectively she has 
the most life out of every single character in the game. However, it is like separated by three bars. Each different life bar comes with a different droid that acts a certain way. And it she's treated like uh, like uh, Street Fighter 2 mechanics to where she can tag in other droids for assist. Someone in chat said, I think it was Chai, or uh, the Jago, it looks like Chai from 10 years before Hi-Fi Rush. You know, it all comes full circle, don't it? Yeah, yeah. See if I could drain this entire life bar. Nope, nope I came close. 86% oh, on Aria. Wow. I was expecting Aria to have a sword as a, as a weapon. Possibly someone who could take a lot of phases as well. Diego. Oh, no, 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 no. This is going to be the hardest part ever. So there's something called shadow data where you can you can train a particular character and then thin them off. So like they go on an excursion to other people's Xboxes to train. They will play however you train them to play as. So you can have Jago as your rushdown, your zoner, your defensive type character, or any way that you naturally play with that character. And then you can send him off and have, you know, whoop ass on someone else's Xbox. I never noticed Cinder's face looks like an alien. It's because he is. Oh, I think. Oh. think. Maybe? I don't know. I thought Cinder was also maybe a possible um, honorary member of the Ginyu Force. From the discussion we had last time we saw Cinder. You know? <laughs> there we go. It's like the silence says it all. Yes. <laughs> I always enjoy how even in these fighting games, characters have a backstory. They always sit down here and like, um, this character has like this little tiny brief about like who and what and why they are and that's the reason why this is why this is whereas you always think of fighting games oh you just pick character A versus character B now we're at a point where everything kind of has a background story and origin which is really nice kind of fleshes out the characters a little bit more Yeah, and then you have Ken reportedly di being divorced by his wife, living desolate inside the streets that he fights in. Yeah. No, uh, Diego's form of the Hadouken is called a ki Kikuken. He has an energy and then ow that's my face <laughs> I happen to say that a oh, lot oh come actually. on there we go but that's a really strong key tar to go through that much and still not lose a single key right A very I wonder I wonder who I wonder who makes that probably Roland that if it's something that strong it's probably gonna be Roland who makes that oh god I paid for it <laughs> I did the mid-round taunt and paid for it dearly oh wow you know it looked it looked cool so it's okay yeah Sometimes it's okay to, you know, sometimes it's okay to, you know, look cool and then take a lot of damage immediately afterwards. There we go. Nice. I'm afraid you're it's a Nokia guitar. Yeah, yes. that's it. Okay. <laughs> mm. Oh, 
want to get bodied is always it's a true combo. Yep. All of a sudden, I have the, 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 the urge to just boot up Dive Kick. <laughs> so with, 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 what is it, Isako? Yeah. Uh, why do I think that Isako is going to look at my screen and pop out of my screen? Oh. Go watch her victory uh, animation. Do I want to if it's going to pop out of my screen? Or is it is it is it well, is it going to make a phone call happen immediately afterwards? Yes. Okay. I'll stop at the like last frame so I won't get the phone call. Why? <laughs> Do not let her win. <laughs> I should just, you know, let that happen for the lols. There we go. <laughs> Yay, I beat the menu boss. <laughs> I'm proud of myself now. <laughs> if this run gets killed, I'll be happy. <laughs> it's a shame that, like, I hope we get a sequel to this at some point and then we can find out that Thunder gets a... Uh, brother called lightning I think inside the story that he actually has a brother but I just can't remember his name it's lightning we'll call it that yeah I don't it, it, it can't be anything else it's officially lightning and if the game says otherwise it's a typo in the game I, I, I even looked at the lockout Outer, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, let me just throw out a counter breaker anyway. Okay, fine. Gonna block everything. That's who it is. It's Eagle. Eh, it's a typo. It's a game typo. Maybe a cousin named Eagle, but I still think the brother's name is Lightning. 60%. Oh, yeah. yeah, and and their cousin Squall and Cloud. We can't forget about them as well. That's true. N no. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, Eagle was also introduced in season three point five with uh, Kilgore. Hmm. Maybe next time I'm on the show. I'm so bad about missing estimate. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. I'm just waiting for him to go, shut up already. <laughs> See, that was the running that was a running joke throughout the uh uh Street Fighter 4 run. Uh if you have not seen any of my previous runs, make sure you go to youtube.com uh slash games done quick and check out the hotfix archives. But um there was a running joke about how like there's there's Ryu, Ken, and then there's Death. Like, two really cool sounding names, and then just basic Seth. What, you think Seth's not a cool name? I mean, it's normal. I mean, true. Like, I want, like, in, in order for a game to just grab my attention, there's got to be 
a, a main character that does not have a basic uh, occasion male name. There we go. Oh, come on. Was it Street Fighter or Tekken who had Bob? That would be Tekken. Oh, yeah, we were talking about that last time. And I was just, you know, all the names and then just Bob. Just Bob. Bob is the best character. Both me, both me and Blue Heart were like, no, nah, that's in Tekken. He's like, really? Yeah. Ah, I failed the menu boss again. Bob has to be the best character. To anyone who creates mods, can you kindly figure out a way to remove the loading screens of this game on the PC? That'd be great. Like, I'm almost convinced that it's like 20 minutes of gameplay, 60 minutes of, of loading screens. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was it during its time period. I waste meter and I didn't need to. <laughs> it happens. Renegade was like, the PC version hardly has any load times. So I have a really bad habit of trying to stream uh, PC titles. That's the reason why I slowly migrating my Steam library into a physical collection. Um, so, like, if it would be possible to just mod something on console, it'd be a lot easier. Someone will figure out a way. If you ask, it may happen. Please. <laughs> All right, so that's Jago down. We're, we're at the halfway, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Maybe now if you have time to take a break. Sure. All right, just give a pause. Well, we're, I'd have to go back and, and do the menus again, so we can go ahead and start the break now. Okay, yeah. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just pause for real fast, and we're going to go ahead and take a small break uh, to get up, kind of stretch... It's a good time to get some water for y'all if we get a chance to hydrate. Uh, and we'll be right back with more of the Killer Instinct. Right here, we're featuring H2O Happy, Happy Dude. Stay tuned. And welcome back to The Bargain Bin here on the James Done Quick Hot Fix. Hey, do not forget, Frame Fatales is Games Done Quick's all-women online speedrunning community. The upcoming event, Flame Fatales, will run from August 13th through the 20th. The schedule will also be released on July 6th. Head on over to gamesdonequick.com slash framefatales for more information. And with that, let's go ahead and take it straight back over to Happy Dude over here, who's going to continue more on this Killer Instinct run. And this run is, in fact, killer. Yeah. You gotta love those jokes, right? Yeah. Anyway, uh, so where we left off... Uh, was well y'all didn't hear it but it had a banging credit song i would recommend picking this up it is free to play on almost everything i want to say it's free to play on steam but i'm not 100 sure but 
Well, we're going to get back into this. Uh, we're halfway through the uh, season one characters. So we're going to resume in three, two, one, go. All right. So it is Paper Wolf, continue. And uh, for Maximilian, dude, uh, he lost uh, his. Uh, or uh, dog Biddy, so I'm gonna try to locate uh, the Biddy skin. Wait. Oh wait, I don't have it unlocked. Why? Oh no. Mm. All right, we're just gonna. Oh, hello. Hold on. I guess. Yeah, yeah, okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Solid white Pomeranian. That works. Yeah, can we spam some Benny heads in chat? There's a lot of that. Good old saber warfare. Are we, are, we, are, are we able to pet the dog here for a little while? Mm. I guess that'd be... If we, if, we, if we could, I would. Yeah. Can you always move before the battle even starts? Or is that was that just like a glitch you did? Oh, that is a feature of the game. That's really interesting. I'm surprised the AI doesn't do that. Dr. Frankenwolf? Just about. <laughs> ah. Oh, what? 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 Hmm. I don't like that. Come on, Benny. You got this. I, w I meant to go in for the grab. There we go. So the funny thing about Arya is that when she activates instinct, um, uh, the automat. Oh. So, Paper Wolf. Like every single time I go for um, the uh, ah, now it wants to work. <laughs> nice. Look at the teeth on that. Rar. Rar. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. Do we have any ability to put, to put a chef's hat on Saber Wolf? You just gave me like the world's best <laughs> emote idea ever. There we go. There we go. So do we get to play as Omen? In this? Yes. Oh. Uh, I think Omen was released in season two. Okay, so if it's season one, we probably will not be able to play as Omen in this run. No. Oh, good. So that permanently means we have a bad Omen with us. Uh, <laughs> uh. I'm going to see how, who many, how many in chat understand what I'm going with on that one. So Eidolon, um, Omen, wait, oh, it wasn't Eidolon, uh, Crushing Victory, uh, mentioned that, uh, uh, 
all fighters are playable. But we're only going through the season one roster. Yeah. So I could actually have something to come back and play season two. Oh, come on. You should not have taken that grab. <laughs> there. I guess technically if we were going to play as good omen, uh, or play as omen, we'd be, it'd be a good omen, in which case we'd probably have to ask someone like, uh, if we're going to do a voiceover, probably David Tennant. If it's a Doctor Who joke, I don't get no, it. No, 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 no. It's another, it's another thing that, you know, David Tennant's son called Good Omens. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah. No. That just goes right up and over, my friend. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and uh, Rash from Battletoads was in Season 2 as well. Uh, oh, yeah. So next week, or uh, two weeks from today, I guess, <laughs> make a return visit, put, run, th run through Season 2. Ah, there we go. It's a shame you can't grab a rip for his tail. Oh, wait. <laughs> so if you look closely enough, he leans in and bites your ankle for the grab. That was just perfectly timed what I just said. Yep. Oh, that's a great question. Is that Riptar a Pokemon? We're not quite sure if it's a Pokemon, but if you do like Pokemon, don't forget that after this is going to be a Pokemon run coming up after this will be Tiny Tree Fort with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm... <laughs> nice. Um. Does he does 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 Saber Wolf know there's a camera there? Is that why Saber Wolf just pans to the camera and looks dead at it at the last frame? Fourth wall breaking. Everyone does that as a victory pose. I feel like such a failure. I've had this in my Steam library for years and I've yet to download and play. Looney, you're missing out. It, even though the game is 10 years old, it is worth it. It's worth the time to just boot it up. I think Jago comes uh, stock unlocked with with one free character rotating every week, even if you're on the free-to-play mod. Um, this, is, this game is to blame for the season... Uh, structure of most uh, most of your favorite games. So they're still doing stuff to this game, or is it just like you know, why that it means everything's still in the rotation? What do you mean by that? Um, so they're no longer doing um, active development on the game. The last patch was about four years ago. Um... They have the part of the free-to-play model. They have one unlocked un character full-time, which is Jago. Then they have a free rotating character that from it could be from either season. Uh, free-to-play uh, until you buy the entire roster for about twenty bucks. Oh, come on. There we go. So that was, a, that's a long time to even work, you know, even for it was four years, it's still a long time to work on a game like this. And, and the online community is still active, whether you're playing on Xbox or PC. If you want to, uh, jump in and play ranked the latter is very accommodating for that um sometimes when like 
you're you're in the qualifying queues. You get paired up against a killer, which is the effectively the grandmaster of, of of KI. But for the most part, the skill levels are pretty much balanced from what I've seen in uh, my time playing on ranked. Nice. And the ladder, the ladder is completely free as well. And I think this is one of the few games on the Xbox where you don't need uh, an Xbox Live membership to actually play it. Oh, that's yeah, that's really nice. Ooh. Did I hear earlier this was also on Game Pass? Yep. If you have it on uh, Xbox, if you get it on Xbox One, uh, it also comes with the arcade ports for uh, KIs One and Two. And it has uh, online play with rollback netcode. Come on. So I'm not sure if I've actually asked you this on, on my Hot Pick show, but you do like a good variety of stuff, not just from the fighting games, but you've also done Mario Party. You've also done, like you saw, we saw Binding of Isaac earlier. Like what inspires you to run all these, the variety of games, especially a lot of the fighting games that I've seen you run? The fighting games came across because I've been uh, a huge fan of uh, Street Fighter and the FTC as a whole since um, I was nine years old and playing Street Fighter mirror matches with my oldest brother. That got me into playing uh, uh, Street Fighter 2 on the Next Door Neighbors uh, SNES and ever since then I just fell in love with everything fighting game related. Um, mainly Capcom and uh, Rare. So your Killer Instinct, your your Mortal Kombat and uh, your Street Fighter. And it was just something that I've... Like, when I said that the Game Boy port of Killer Instinct was the very first fighting game I ever owned, that was a birthday gift one year. Um, and with everything else that I run, um, mainly it's been like, like... Like, when I started running Get Me Toilet Paper, that was because of Asuka 424. Um... I was there live to watch her run at the butt crack of dawn during SGDQ. And I was like, oh, that seems fun. So I started running that. Um, I have this eclectic taste in uh, all these different genres because, like, it just seems something fun to do. Like, I took a list, took a li look at. Uh, several runs for stuff a couple, couple of days ago and I, I don't necessarily I, I'll i take that combo breaker or counter breaker rather um, it was just like what is what is the last place run on this leaderboard and I look at the world record and see if I can replicate it like uh like Mario Party 5 wasn't even in the charts until I started looking at the leader runs on the leaderboard. Like, okay, this is RNG, world record, not luck. Do I have that horseshoe? Let's run. Um, but yeah, my, my, my love for most things that I've run on here has either been childhood or just bored and looking for a new run. That's a really good way of looking at things. Also, I I also missed the toilet paper run, which makes me really sad. But you know, it's okay because like, since I missed out on it, I can go on youtube.com slash games done quick and check out the VOD as well as any other uh, summer games done quick 2023 run or even some of the panels that I may have missed out on. They're also on the YouTube channel uh, as well as the Juneteenth celebration. All of that is available at youtube.com slash games done quick. And of course, while you're there, uh, always, you know, give a like button to like this video if you're watching it or any other ones and always subscribe to the channel. And for those that are watching this on YouTube, do not forget 
Uh, we have our live content over at twitch.tv slash games done quick starting weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern, weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. Okay, that's weird. It allowed me to break on mediums. <laughs> the entire time I've been breaking. If it gets the job done. Oh, no. I was... He broke. Oh. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Almost. Dead. Nice. Nice. Okay, so funny story about Promo Rage. They had a uh, major for the FGC called Combo Breaker. The main event on the stage for this year, 2023 was Primal Rage. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Maybe we're getting something new soon. I don't necessarily think that uh, 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 them releasing Primal Rage 2 as an HD remix would... Like, I would enjoy it because I never played Primal Rage growing up, so... Gorky's doing mod duties in chat. Happy dude just rang Fulgur's bell, much like you can ring the bell here and on Twitch. And also on YouTube. As if. <laughs> As in the and also on YouTube. Wait, what am I doing? Single player fight story season one. Alright. Actually, let me go ahead and get Sidira out of the way. Very inappropriate clothing for a GDQ. Um, <laughs> yo, Bruce Wayne Brady, how's it going? That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, chat will go off of this and stuff like that. What's been your favorite? And if you're watching this on YouTube, go in the comments. So what's what's your favorite fighting game? All right, so I'd have to answer that question in the realm of what is my favorite outside of KI 2013. Hmm. My, mine would have to either be uh, Street Fighter 4 or uh, MK9. Because I was watching both, both games tournament scenes very heavily, and then that's what got me into like keeping track of the tournament scene for a while. Oh. See a couple good things aren't kind of coming through chat here. Ah. There we go. A couple things in here Mortal Kombat 2, Street Fighter 6, uh, King of Fighters, Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I don't necessarily know that one. Uh, second, seven. that was a that was a Wii exclusive, and thank you for reminding me. I need to start learning that one. <laughs> no, it's the only game outside of Dive Kicked where you oh, wait, let me rephrase that it's the only legitimate fighting game to where you can deal billions of points of damage. Oh, one of those. Yep. See, I'd, ha I'd have to go personally with Shaq Fu. Fight on. 
I'm totally trying to learn that for 2024, <laughs> by the way. It's, it's uh, a fun, it's a fun little run. What peripherals is he using? Yes, I'm on, I'm on a pad. I do have a hitbox, but that is only available for like uh, PS4 and PC. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, blah. There we go. Oh, I mistimed that. Oh, well. Okay, so it. I love how everyone in the comment section is all about like the music and all about like all the combos and all the and stuff like that. The I can't hear the music on my end, so I can't wait to watch the VOD <laughs> and sit down here and listen to all the music, or I may just actually go off and just like listen to the soundtrack. Music in this game slaps. Like they even have it as a Spotify album. It's that good. Okay, so it's on Spotify. I'll have to check it out. I'll just listen to season one. That's all that matters. So when you look at multiple characters and you're doing all these different characters um, for this particular run, do you have to know different combos in your head or is it all the executions kind of all the same or can you like custom map everything to be like that for the run? Well, okay. So I'm kind of... That might hate me for this, but there is something that was introduced in Season 3. I think it was either 2 or 3.5 that makes the game a lot more accessible to everybody. And it was combo assist. And I am not terribly that versed with every single character in this game. Like I have I have Jago, uh, Orchid, and Myra Mira as my mains, but I don't know the entire roster yet. So I think I said it at the beginning of the run that I am unable to submit it because I'm using combo assist. And the first thing that they say, uh, the, the last line of text inside the rule set is that uh, combo assist is banned. I totally do this just to show that everything can be accessible. Uh, whether or not you're, you're, you're just learning the game or you're having accessibility issues with, with like, or to circle forwards or anything like that. This game, like, it, it, it wants you, everyone, to learn how to play. Oh, nice. Perfect. I like the font. It's weird at the same, but I actually do really appreciate the font. Oh. Jesus. If, if, uh... I see it. I see a name in chat, and if that is the Nikki FGC that I'm <laughs> thinking that it is, 
You speed run? Okay, that is the that is the same uh, Nikki FTC I was thinking of. <laughs> There we go. Poor Rip Tar. Rip Tor. I was about to say Rip Tar because my mind keeps on going to Rep Tar. I'm wasting meter again. <laughs> I think he's like, this is hype, but I'm like, yeah, uh, go back and watch the VODs for my, uh, my, not only was it my debut on a, on a GDQ stage, but I also play the uh, really terrible Game Boy port. Like, it, it's a childhood game. I love it to death. Is it a good game? No, not really. It's okay to like those type of new games. I enjoy that. It's like a, I enjoy. I am playing. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I play on a. Uh, what is it a Power A Xbox One controller? Is there any reason for it? Um, that you is it just for like the type of controller that you have, or is there an actual reason for playing on the Power A? I needed a Xbox controller, Xbox One controller. And uh, it got flashy lights. I was say, it glows, you know. It glows. You need to find your controller. Just turn the console on. There you go. And it just, you know, just glows. It's a nightlight, you know. Leave your console on overnight. Please don't do that. Actually, that's actually a really bad thing to do. Don't leave your console on. I, I, I automatically turn mine on. Like as soon as I got it, I turned on sleep mode. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Wheels. Ah. <laughs> I learned about wheels because he's I find the right words for this while I play it. It's very hard to try to do so. Ah. Um, he's handicapped. And the reason why I play games with the idea of making it like have it accessible to everybody is because of wheels. And he's one of the best Killer Instinct players I've personally have ever seen. He top aided a major a couple of years ago. And plus, if memory serves me correctly, he also cashed in a uh, Twitch Rivals of him. There we go. Do you ever ever have any difficulties mentally going off? Because you, you know, we're going through all of season one. Do you have any issues of like, oh, I totally forgot I was playing this character? I do occasionally. Like if, I, like if I go random, it'll show up on the uh, on the um, versus screen who, who who the game picked, and like I'll be off either dealing with chat or. Uh, doing something else like either in my phone when I'm playing casually and then all of a sudden I would look up be the character and then no matter who it is I play it like Jago I'm like moves aren't coming out oh that's because I'm not Jago Actually, Jago. I think I'm going to leave Orchid. Oh, oh yeah. I think I'm going to leave Orchid for last because she's my favorite season one character. Uh, uh. I completely forgot Sadira's got a double jump. You use that to your advantage. Oh, yeah. Come on, Jago. There we go. Oh, blah. Stop trying to break crap.
Nice job on the perfect of that, though. Commentator curse, my guy. <laughs> That's a real thing. <laughs> you say that now. Oh, why? Okay. Oh. There we go. Beautiful. See, see what I tell you. See? Perfect. I knew from the beginning you're going to get a perfect on that one. I was just pointing out that commentator curse was a real thing. <laughs> oh, it is a thing, yeah. You just you're just good at this game that you don't have to have to worry about that. Ray, did that actually happen? I want video proof of that. <laughs> This is six, isn't it? Uh, yes. I'll double check on the character select screen. Okay. Does she block with, like, her size like that? That's a really interesting way to block. Form it like sheet music. Oh! I keep looking at the KV meter. <laughs> All right. How does your meter grow in this game? I have not asked that, actually. Uh, The KV meter? Yeah. Okay, so... Depending on what type of attack you use, and obviously now that there's legit pros in here that they might be able to uh, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but it depends on what type of basic attack you use. Uh, specials sometimes fill it faster than heavies, and then it goes down the chain. Um, there's three things that could reset a counter breaker. Uh, no, two things. A counter breaker or activating instinct. Very nice, though. That's the term I was missing. Linkers. Mm. <laughs> Open, opening, linkers, and then enders. So yeah, we'll look at that, but I think that was I think that was six. We should have two more? I want to say yes. We'll look at that here in a moment. Oh my gosh, Arbiter? That's yes. a character. Just by Arbiter Rash and Someone else. Can't remember. Uh, story, season one. Oh. Wait, did I already do? Yeah, Orchid was the first one. What? There you go. There you go. Okay, so it's Glacius and Thunder, all that I have left. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Wait, but I already did Glacius, though. Crap. That's what happens when you go out of order. Glacius and Thunder remain. Okay. Okay, yeah. Why do I feel like I've already done Glacius? Glacius, though. No, we've not done. 
That's right, because there hasn't been any cold, sh cold shoulder puns yet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I would remember those stupid puns. And I'm sitting here going, oh, I just wasted my Imagine Dragon pun from, from earlier. Uh -huh. no, it's all right. It's all right, though. And you already blew the uh, omen, bad omen bun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I did send her, but not Glacius. Okay. Thank you, chat. Yes. I am forging here. I'm pulling out all the heavy hitters. <laughs> hey, chat can always give us good puns. And then I'll just say them and say chat said this. I will say Glacius is pretty stone cold of a character. I'd be looking directly into the camera if I didn't need my <laughs> eyes elsewhere. Lacey's retro skin just looks badass. Yeah. See, now I need a rock band called, like, Glacius or, like, something Glacius so I can be, like, at this moment, like, oh, yeah, Glacius and Bad Omen are going out on tour. Can we also talk about the, this also coming from the same person that called Metallica Metallica? Yeah. Yeah. What's wrong with Metallica? Everything is wrong with Metallica. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> I need to go follow Midnight Vesper on TikTok for all the stupid puns. Oh my goodness! If you can't, if you can't get enough of them, so this is a way to actually get him to do new content for TikTok. <laughs> Opponents need to. Oh God, the the Mister Freeze, uh, Mister Freeze puns. You need to tell. Uh. Glacius and oh, Silver Wolf seem to have a good, you know, seem to have a good little thing there. So instead of a hot dog, we get a cold dog. <laughs> I like that one. I like, I like that, that one. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Someone in the chat just said, hey, now, we don't want to get things frosty around here. Next one, Saber Wolf, you need to chill out. What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> the Ice Age! I, 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 you, you get that one out of me, Vesper. You get that one. <laughs> Be Code in hell when you catch me making up. A yeah. <laughs> <sighs> so is, is Glacius' final move in opposing there? Is it is just a snowball? I didn't catch that. Does that mean does that mean that if we ever have Glacius versus Glacius, it's just like a it's like a massive snowball fight? That too I'm willing to accept. Like that. This run is so chilling. All right, everybody, chill. You thought, and you thought. <laughs> I 
I, I have to say, with all the puns, though, I really have to give uh, Chad a thunderous amount of applause for that. You know, you really, you really snowball, you're really snowballing with the puns here. Look, can I just kindly have one <laughs> hotfix appearance <laughs> without a massive amount of puns for over an hour? Is that too could, much to would ask? Would you call it an avalanche of puns? Okay, an actual question that was actually in the, that was actually in for chat. Like, uh, can you do anything in this in the similar vein of like fatalities in the traditional uh, like Mortal Kombat, or is a fatality kind of like locked into the brand of Mortal Kombat? So, yes and no. Um, there's no at the end of the day, there's no like fatality. Um, however, with um, uh, certain characters, they have what is what uh, the equivalent is called an ultimate, which is an over, overly uh, cinematic scene where um, it is possibly assumed a character is killed. But that is the uh, ultimate. The ultimate is essentially a new form of humiliation. I feel like Happy Dude feels the puns are quite polarizing. Come on, Chad! <laughs> That one was good. I like that one. Okay, so it looks like now we're in a beach. Or something like, you know, an outpost for a beach. Which I get. I mean, it's, it's, it, it, I, I kind of get it. So now we're basically... It looks like uh, the the uh, other... Not Galactus. Is it Agnaros? Agnaros? Yeah. Is that more of a stone creature? It looks like from a Yep. Okay, so basically so basically at this particular point we have Stone Cold Galactus versus the Rock Agnaros. If I could pause this game and glare at you menacingly, <laughs> I would. <laughs> I want to. I want to know. I want to know how many people in chat got that one. <laughs> you were reaching pretty hard for it. <laughs> it's topical, though. It's topical, though. I got a boo. You know what? I'm okay. I got a boo for that one. Hey, look. As long as you like the joke, that's all that matters, <laughs> right, Vesper? Yes. All right. I got, I got that, that, that one. That one split the chat, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Look, Vesper, I'm trying to ask a question. <laughs> Supreme victory! I like that. You're on thin ice. <laughs> this point is quite. Quite tropical, but I think it's about as far behind us as an ice age. Fight on. <laughs> Button mash with the loading screen. Oh, yes. Did we get a poll if that was a good fun or a bad fun? <laughs> no, because we know the answer. <laughs> the slippery slope with these puns, and some of them are getting a cold reception. <laughs> And then Thunder is next, right? Yep. And then Okay, so we need to we need to gather that's it. we need to gather our weather puns before we go any further. On a somewhat unrelated note, I guess I don't know. Coming up after this, for those that are that are interested, um, is going to be Pokemon Scarlet and Violet on on the next GDQ Hotfix show, Tiny Tree Fort. So we still have some amazing stuff coming on after this run.
You know, it's, it's sad, and I just now realized this, that the, the skeleton is named Spinal, and I made not a single Spinal Tap reference. So for those who actually don't know a clue about Maya, he is the only character that was specifically created for KI Gold slash KI2 that made its way into this, into this game. You see how I just sailed past that yeah, pun there? Uh, you, 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 you uh, sailed past the pun. You're, you're, it's, it's, it's good in there. You're learning. <laughs> also, if you look closely enough to Glacius' uh, skin, not the cosmetic skin, but the mm -hmm. his actual skin of the character, you can see right through it. Like if it was a piece of ice. I appreciate that. So his attitude must be ice cold. Look, I had a stretch for that second one. <laughs> hey, you know what? Though we're having fun. I mean, you know what? It's okay. It's good to have fun. Oh, that actually is a good point. Someone pointed out. Um, I'll, I'll take the pun. Someone said, Ice Ice Baby to go to go. So, like, what do you think Galactus' favorite band is? Glacius' favorite band? Glacius' favorite band, yeah. I should know this one. <laughs> what is Glacius' favorite band? Yeah, what is Glacius' favorite band? I don't know. Iron Maiden. I bet you were going to thought I was going to say Vanilla Ice. But no, it's Iron Maiden. Why? Because you thought I was going to say Vanilla Ice. Oh. <laughs> Everyone in the chat is seeing it right now. Vanilla Ice, Vanilla Ice, Vanilla Ice. <laughs> oh, Metal Ice Liga. Earth would have been good. Ice Earth would have been really Hail good. Hailstorm? Hailstorm would have been good. Coldplay would have been all right. Ice Nine Kills would have Four been good, seasons. too. Yeah. Oh, I had to just wait for chat to roll in with the answers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After... S what? I think, like, so many runs over so many times, I just figured out oh, how chat yeah. works. There's a, there's a couple of good ones in that I did, even I didn't think of, honestly. <laughs> Arctic Monkeys. Oh, wow. Someone in chat said, Fulgore, stop blocking. It's not optimal. <laughs> oh, Celtic Frost would have been good as well. Those Cinder and Glacius both wow. have a soft, soft spot for Foreigner. <laughs> can, we, can we time that out? Can we purge that from chat? <laughs> All right, we're 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 we're, we're going home. Ah, uh, 
We got one. We got one last one. Thunder. Bring the thunder. If I somehow come under this 205, I'm just going to be so ecstatic. <laughs> I doubt it, but. Can we just, like, whatever my time is at the very end, can we just add just like one second to the estimate? <laughs> All right, this is my least favorite character out of season one. Save it for last so that we're Jack gonna... can give you thunderous applause. I've already said that, but you know, it still works. And okay, we're going to put thunder in the biker outfit. We'll be thunderstruck if it still comes under estimate. God, bless. yes, yes. <laughs> Chat, you all are awesome. Keep it up. I'm glad that the Binding of Isaac run was unfree because I wasn't paying attention to chat. Well, some of this is, is just kind of written with the character names and designs and such. Yeah, true. Yeah. The ba Oh, uh, Thunder's badge on his biker jersey says 1993 to 2013. I just now noticed that. Wow. Which is the two dates of the release of uh, Killer Instinct and then the 2013 one that I'm playing now. Yeah. Wow. The downpour of puns is intense. I just love how like the entirety of my GDQ career right now has solely been purposed by really stupid puns. <laughs> like my two biggest runs ever have just been solidified to be like jokes are us. Hey, you know, it's all right. It happens. You know, I mean, it... I know, I know. I just can't wait to get something on the main stage <laughs> where it's impossible to read chat. Oh. Oh, but the, it's okay. You can just whoever's hosting. Yeah, we just have to worry about donations. Oh, God. Just think about it. 99.9% .9 of whatever I run is going to be pun donations. It's just going to be <laughs> me sitting there in silence. No couch. No commentary, and it's just going to be fed through the puns of donations. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm giggling on the inside of that, yeah, that yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Someone put in there two weapons, so he strikes twice. <laughs> that one was good. I can't do anything when I can't see the screen. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. For the love of God, just let me hit you. <laughs> I 
Come on, I want to poke you. He's Thunder. Thunder doesn't poke. That's Lightning's job. If we gotta donate to keep the jokes coming, we'll do that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I just need a game to get into a main event GDQ. Hey, uh, Vesper. Mm. Where is... There is a huge difference between awful block and silly block, correct? Yes. I think. Okay. Oscar four two four. Let's race. Uh, give me toilet paper. <laughs> Let's do it for SGD SGDQ twenty twenty four. I believe. I think the question is, can can uh, Happy Dude get into get a uh, run into a mainline GDQ? I believe the answer is yes. You Conra. Lame. <laughs> you know what though, the run the run is like the uh, human toilet paper runs like maybe eight to ten minutes at best. Like world records 821 right now so yeah they can be decently sized amount of uh funds and donations on a 10 minute run yeah i just want this thing to end i'm not cashing anything out <laughs> <laughs> You want There's you want you want this to you know pass, run through. Is that supposed to be toilet toilet? toilet no, humor? I was trying to go with a storm pun, and it just didn't work. And I was just trying to save the pun, and after a while, it just didn't work. So I just kind of was like, you know what? Just uh, I'm just gonna walk away from that one. Where was that line of thought for the past two hours? <laughs> <laughs> Would have been great. And also, like me having a bunch of people who do puns very well, very well, on call with me for someone who really hates puns. I guess that means entertainment for Chad at the long yeah, run, right? Yeah. Someone just said, "Fun fact: Thunder is actually scared of thunder." Thunder sleeps with the night light on. Yeah, yeah. Why? There we go. I didn't mean to go for that, but. Oh, you won't let me have the round? You evil. Oh. There we go. Happy to trying to say that this is punishing for him. Well, <laughs> we're friends on Discord, Bruce Wayne Brady. I could just easily block you. That's half the problem. The other 99% of that is the rest of chat and the voice in my ear. Come on. I will say that Thunder with those axes is just chopping down the health point of the uh, enemy over there. Uh, how many more do I have? <laughs> how many more? <laughs> I 
Okay, I got this one and then two more. Almost. The storm is almost past. Is anyone else getting a migraine? <laughs> or is it just me? Usually, if, usually, I think I think that's a southern trait that if you get a migraine or something like that, it means the storm's coming. Or is that like the the knee type thing? That's the random body parts. Yeah. Maybe that that happens with my back a lot. This sort of run in a marathon would be lightning in a bottle. Says chat. I would definitely do like half a roster. Yeah. You're getting a urgrain. Look. Unnatural. We share enough Twitch channels in common <laughs> where like this is a I'm going to catch you outside moment. <laughs> yeah, it's the thing. Yeah, migraines can be triggered by chances of, uh, by uh, changes in biometric pr pressure, like you know a possible storm coming through that has I don't know a loud boom with it. Oh, Ninja, I've been trying to this entire game. This entire run, I've been trying to counteract this, like, <laughs> Killer Instinct trivia, and um, I, I, I've, I've been trying, but... I just want one serious run. <laughs> Vinyl did, in fact, not turn it up to 11. <laughs> Final tap jokes. Yes, yes, yes. Is he happy like, due to I water like... or just happy he <laughs> wants to, to encourage drinking water? Uh, true fact, I'm drinking Mountain Dew right now. I, I, just, I just want to point out when the next and the final we, we, we get this, Thunder looks so tired of the puns already. He <laughs> just love the picture. Thunder just looks deflated. That's a lot of extra damage there. Now you know my frustration. <laughs> so doing that, doing that is twofold. Um, when you overkill like that, it guarantees that um, um, you 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 fill up your super meter just that much more. Um, and by doing that, however, it automatically uh, raises the. Uh, uh, instinct meter of your opponent. So, do you want to go for big combos, or do you want to give your opponent the comeback? All right, so now when we get to the last second, any final shout-outs, anything you'd like to say? Um, if anyone's interested in looking more about the community, where they need to go, things along those lines. Go to... Go to the Discord that's attached to the leaderboards. It it accompanies everything Killer Instinct. Going all the way back to the 1993 classics. Um, they even have leaderboards for 1 and 2 if you happen to have them uh, available on Xbox One. It's part of the uh, games, uh, bleh, console games fast. Um, join the Discord and uh, watch a bunch of tournament coverage from back in the day. Nothing has changed. If you go back... And, you know, look at patches, look at tournaments from five years ago. The patch notes are probably more than likely still the same. Yeah. And where can they follow you? Ah, uh, my name is H2O Happy Dude. Uh, you can find me on almost everywhere. Um, social media, Xbox, PC, uh, Nintendo Switch. As H2O Happy Dude. I'm on Twitch and YouTube as far as content goes. And 
if you would like to see more of these shenanigans, um, including the uh, VOD from when, uh, from Friday, y'all are uh, well, welcome to subscribe to the channel. Wow. Okay, I thought that killed. <laughs> Bulgore did not have the shock uh -oh. mindset there. Ah, uh, too far away. Just a little bit more. Right, I'm doing decent chip damage just slinging heavies at him. Gonna go down eventually. I am not letting up, you bag of bolts. Oh, he had to jump away too. <laughs> Time. All right. Nice job. H2O, thank you so much for showcasing. The two runs today, was they were great. They were full of puns. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Hey, do not forget, though, while the bargain bin may be closing its doors, we're not done here on the Game's Done Quick Con Fix. Here in a little bit is going to be Tiny Tree Fort, showcasing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's going to be a fantastic run. But while we get all that set up, we need to get, while we do all that, it's a good time to get up, get a snack, Use the restroom, hydrate yourself, rehydrate yourself. If you're out of water, get some more water, and we'll get things set up. We'll see you all in a couple of weeks. Till then, have a wonderful time. Bye.